Manitobans are rallying for respect. Several hundred people from all walks of life gathered at the steps of the legislature in Winnipeg. Progressive Conservatives held the Rally for Respect, an effort to get people to stand up for their rights and to be heard on a number of issues, ranging from the PST hike to flood compensation. Part of the RCAP negotiation team uh, guarantee was that we would have a meeting with Mr. Ashton's office. We asked Mr. Selinger to be there and Mr. Struthers. In other words, the commitment that something would be done. And we were promised that within a week of our uh, rally. We still haven't had that meeting. Broken promises again. I'm going to leave you with one last quote today. It's another quote from Minister O'Neill. He was quoted again saying, This amalgamation is going to happen. Pick your dance partner. I picked my dance partner, and it's not the NDP government. Opposition leader Brian Pallister spoke and says it's important for people to be vigilant and to keep the pressure on the NDP to start acting for them. R-E-S-P-E-C-T. Find out what it means to me. Find out what it means to me, Mr. And everybody, and everybody in this province deserves respect. Everybody deserves respect in this province. Everybody. Exactly. Exactly. In the last election campaign, the NDP went around to your door and everybody else's door. They said, we're not going to raise taxes. We promised we won't raise taxes. And they made a solemn vow, didn't they? And now we've got $500 million of broken promise new taxes coming to the hands of people like you and friends of ours right across this city and province. And that means a weaker province. It means a less competitive province. It means a province where families have to get separated while, while young people go to other provinces to find better opportunities. I want us to lead this country in every respect that we can, and we can do that with your help. Reported John Line, I'm Owen Defro.